Hey everyone, I'm Judith. Well today we'll be making a spicy tuna salad, one of my favorite recipes for a good old sandwich. So for the dressing you'll need two teaspoons of chopped fresh oregano, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, one tablespoon of lemon juice and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. For the tuna salad, you'll need two and a half, six ounce cans of light tuna in water, which we've drained, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of dry chili flakes crushed, two finely chopped scallions, one small red onion finely chopped, two tablespoons of capers, one celery rib finely chopped, 30 cherry tomatoes halved, two teaspoons of finely chopped fresh Italian flat leaf parsley, eight slices of thick cut wheat bread, and six to eight leaves of lettuce for garnish. All right, so for a nice quick lunch sandwich, this is what we're gonna do. First of all, let's mix up our tuna salad dressing. So in goes the three tablespoons of olive oil, our lemon juice, our vinegar, our garlic, um, and our fresh oregano. Love that smell and it goes great with tuna. And of course, our pinch of salt and some black pepper in there too. All right, so give that a good whisk together. And this is the perfect dressing for the tuna salad. See, we don't even need to use, we don't even need to touch mayonnaise, sour cream, anything like that. Nice, light and healthy. Beautiful, all right. So we'll set that aside, and now let's prepare our tuna salad. So with our cherry tomatoes, let's add in our tuna, those cans of tuna which we've drained all the excess water from. Our red onion goes in there too. Our scallions or green onions in there. Now, the red chili, which is why we call it the spicy tuna salad, so that's just gonna give it a lovely kick. Our celery, of course, for the crunch, and our capers. And the remaining olive oil goes in there too. So, we can just break apart that tuna a little bit, because sometimes it clumps together. And look at that, colorful, vibrant. It's got plenty of great textures within the salad. The crunchiness of the celery, you know, the sweetness, the saltiness, really, really nice. That is looking fantastic already. So, right at the end, when you're ready to serve up your tuna salad, then you put your dressing on top. So on it goes. We'll give that a good mix now. Mmm, smells amazing. Mix it up with our spoon there. And then, last but not least, once all those flavors are infused together, we'll put on our parsley. We don't want to do it any earlier because then it's going to break up it's gonna go soggy in the lemon juice. We don't want that. We'll just want it nice and fresh on top of that. So let's get our bread and make some nice sandwiches, shall we? All right. So we'll just get a small amount of our tuna salad on top of the bread. Ha <laughs> ha. And what a great healthy lunch sandwich you can give to your kids. Really good for anyone. And as I said, no fattening mayo or anything in there. We'll do the same. One more. I tend to overfill my sandwiches just because I like a lot of filling. All right, bread on top. Give that a little squeeze down. And we'll cut down the middle, fantastic. Make sure you don't lose too many of your ingredients inside. There we go. Like that, like that. 
And there you go. That is how you make your spicy tuna salad.